Hey guys, Crystal here with Sea Light Candles and Soaps. And we are here to make a soap. And this is the first soap today. I think this might be the only one I'm going to do. Um, my goat's milk and my lye water is already in here. Right here I have coconut milk and cream. I ran out of yogurt and we'll have to go get me some more today. I'm going to go ahead and buzz this up before I add my coconut milk and cream and my fragrance. Hopefully I don't make a mess like I always do, but we'll see. Alright. And the name of this soap is Raspberry Lemonade. And it smells wonderful. I've already tested this soap. And uh, online it says it discolors. But when I tested it, it did not discolor. So I'm hoping that it doesn't discolor with this bigger batch. And that's what I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> fragrance in oh it smells so good the mix of raspberries and lemonade is just awesome and I always forget to burp it Alright, that looks good and emulsified. <coughs> Let me get a paper towel and clean up my mess here. I always seem to make a mess. Never fails. I, I guess I'm just a messy soaper. Alright, let's give this a little bit of a stir. It does have some air bubbles in it. Probably because I, I keep forgetting to burp it. I always forget to burp my blender. I don't know why. But I do. I forget. Oh, it smells amazing. Alright, looks good. Let's go ahead and section these off. Uh, my main batter is going to be pink. And then we have a yellow. And then I'm going to have a white. Don't look about even a little bit more. Yes, that does. Okay. Let me get my pink here. Now I'm going to put just a tad bit of titanium dioxide in it. Just a little bit. Alright, let's get some in this one. And let's buzz them up. Ah, see, I burp it and soap goes flying. <laughs> was the pink I was going for like a 
not too light but not too dark that looks good all right let's stir these up get the air bubbles out of them and I'm doing a drop swirl today um when I tested this soap, I did a drop swirl with these colors, and it turned out absolutely beautiful. Let me show you a bar. Here is my test soap. That's what it looked like, so I'm trying to go back to that. It's absolutely pretty. I loved how I did it when I tested it, so I thought, well, when I make it into a bigger soap, I'll do the same thing. Well, not a bigger soap, but a bigger mold. Because when I tested it, I just did it in my little two-pound mold. Well, come to find out, it's like a two-and-a-half-pound mold. All right, that looks good. It's starting to thicken up a little bit, but nothing major. See if we can't stir it out. All right, let's get the out of this one. All right, let me get my mold, guys. And I'm just going to do a plain old drop swirl with this. So we're going to start with our pink. And layer on the white and yellow keep forgetting that you got to go up high to get it to go to the bottom a little bit more pink My yellow seems to be the only one that's thickening up. Let me see if I can stir it just a little bit here. get the rest of the pink in there I'm going to save just a little bit for the top
All right, let's bang this down. All right, I think I want to put my white first. Now let's put the yellow first. Because I want the pink and white to be on the top. Make sure you guys can see there. Okay, I think I'm going to do the white next. For some reason, it's a little bit looser than my yellow. And usually, titanium dioxide accelerates trace more, but I guess my yellow's accelerated the trace a little bit more than that. Should have left a little bit more for the top, but that's okay. It'll be alright. See if we can get as much of it as we can here. Try to scrape this puppy out. All right, now for the pink, and I didn't leave very much for the pink for the top. Probably should have left a little bit more nest, but that's okay. It'll still look pretty. Alright guys, let's clean up my mesh right here. Try to clean up the side of this a little bit. Before we swirl it, I'm going to go ahead and smack it down. Alright, let me get my skewer. And I'm practicing this guys. I'm practicing not going down too far. So hopefully I can swirl this top without ruining the soap underneath because here lately I've been noticing when I cut my soaps that I go down too far. So I'm trying just to barely put the tip in. This looks so pretty. I love it already. I can't wait to cut into it.
Alrighty, here is what she looks like. This is my raspberry lemonade. Very, very pretty. Let's put some alcohol on her. And then I'm going to put her to bed. And hopefully we'll be able to unmold it in the morning and give her a cut. I'm going to thank you guys for joining me today. And of course the cutting video will be right behind this one. So stay tuned guys. Until next time. Bye bye. Hey guys. Crystal here. I'm back. And we are here to cut raspberry lemonade. And this is what it looks like. And I am going to try out my new cutter. This is my 5 pound mold. And it has, I don't know what they're called. But it has um, a thing here to where I can use this little nifty thing to, to cut my soaps. Instead of using my little cheese wire cutter. So we are going to try it out. See if it'll fit down in there. All right. I think I might need to remove this end too to push it. So let me get this off. Can I smell it? If it'll come off. There we go. That's good. All right. Let's go ahead and get an end piece. Oh, you dropped it. Fell. That's what the end piece looks like. And I've never used this before, so I don't know if I like it or not, but we will see. Is the cheese one better? There's that one. It's still a little sticky. It's too soft. But so far, so good. Kind of hard to push up. There's that one. Make sure you guys can see here. There's that one. It is a little soft on the inside, but I'm loving the swirls on that. Isn't that pretty? And there's the top. I think the reason why it's so hard to push forward is because it's so soft. I could have let it set for a little bit longer, but I was excited to cut into it. So far, it's doing pretty good, guys. I'm getting even bars. getting kind of harder to push through but they're nice and even let me get a paper towel I need a paper towel please let me wipe off my blade here and see if that will help a little bit uh, I've actually had this thing and I ha didn't have really any use for it until now because I am not that great at cutting straight bars freehand. So when I got this mold, I was like, yay, now I can use my little cutter. But they're cutting them nice and even. It's six, well, right here it looks like it's a little dipped. But so far it's nice and even. Put it in the freezer. I'm loving the swirls on this and oh it smells good the mix of raspberries and lemonade is just perfect together is that what you use for your candles yeah I've used this scent for my candles before yeah and it smells really good yes it does smell really good I'm not sure how much I like this. I kind of think I like my wire cutter a little bit better. But it's doing a good job. 
Mama, look, there's where it's dipped. Look. Right there. Hey, baby, put it in the freezer, baby. Come here. No. That's it. The only thing I see that I don't like is it's making the soap come up on the sides. Mm -hmm. See where it's come up on the sides a little <laughs> bit. But I, I'm loving the swirls on this. The yellow with the pink is actually Mommy, really pretty. Don't Shh. Me. I think my mm -hmm. wire cutter might be a little bit faster. But they are nice and even cuts. It probably would work better if it wasn't so soft. It is a little soft, and there's a big chunk that's coming off. Elena. If you're going to eat, Elena, you need to go sit down at the table. Here, sit down. Oh, that one came up. There's that one. Very nice. Mom, there's too much snow out there. Yes, there is a bunch of snow on the ground. And I went trees. to the store earlier, and the main roads are okay, but our road is awful. And I could not get my van all the way up the driveway. It stalled out on me at the bottom of the driveway because of all the snow. But even though the road, main roads are okay, our roads aren't. Oh, isn't that pretty? I'm loving the swirls on this. Oh, there's blood on I think I can one. get one more cut. Did you hear me? There's the last cut. Well, second to last. That one's a little crooked. But we got an end piece here. See if I can get it off. Alright guys, this was testing out my new cutter. I'm not sure how much I like it. I think I like it as a mold more than I like it as a cutter. But um, this was my raspberry lemonade. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. And if you like this video, please do subscribe and hit the like button. And of course, comment. Love to hear you guys' comments. But until next time guys, bye bye.